In the summer months, there's nothing better than fresh peaches. I absolutely love them. So today I'm going to pay homage to them and I'm going to serve them with some simple crepes. To start with, I need to melt some butter. So usually with crepes, of course, there's flour, there's eggs, some milk, but I'm going to be adding some butter to this because that burnt butter flavour gives the crepes a real richness. So I need about two, let's say 10 to 15 grams of butter and I'm going to pop that straight into a small saucepan here. Let's just turn it onto a, about a medium heat here and just let that melt away. So in the meantime, let's get the rest of our ingredients ready. So one cup of plain flour. Everyone always asks me what the difference is between pancakes and crepes. Well, crepes, plain flour and self-raising flour for pancakes and pikelets. So that goes straight into our bowl there, along with two teaspoons of caster sugar. A pinch of salt, always a pinch of salt when you're doing some baked goods like this. And then we can start adding our eggs. So general rule for this, it's really easy to remember, one cup of flour, two eggs, and I always say around two cups of milk. So that's a really easy way to remember it. Okay, so now we need to start whisking this in. And I always say just bring in the sides of this flour. This will ensure we don't get any lumps in our mixture. So once you can see the Better coming together just like that, we can start adding our milk. So we say two cups, I've actually got 460 millilitres of milk because once you rest this batter, it actually thickens up a little bit. So you might need that little bit of extra milk just to finish it off when you start cooking them. So whisk that in. Okay, so we're just gonna add the rest of that milk. So all we have to do now is wait for this butter and you can actually smell the nuttiness of it. So that is ready to go. So in it goes. So ideally you'd like this batter to rest for about an hour in the fridge, but today I'm just gonna leave it on the side there just to rest for a few minutes while I get my caramel going. So in another pan over here, we want to make a dry caramel to start with. So in with about 70 grams of caster sugar, and just keep an eye on that until it just starts to melt and go golden brown. So our peaches here, all we need to do is just cut around the centre, open them up. So we're going to quarter our peaches here. Okay, caramel is ready to go. So now it's time to add our butter. Just be really careful and just swirl that around until it starts to melt. This is when we start adding our peaches. So very carefully, of course, bring your hands close to the pan there. There's nothing worse than getting your peaches and throwing them in there. What will happen is that caramel will splatter and it will burn you. So in they go very gently. And we just want to get a spoon and just coat them in that caramel. The last thing we're going to add to this is some cinnamon. So a pinch of cinnamon and a little bit of lemon just to freshen the whole thing up. So just the zest of about half a lemon can go straight in there. And that is it. They can just sit there for a moment while we start to make our crepes. So here's our batter. We don't really need to butter our pan here. It is non-stick. And of course, we've added a little bit of that burnt butter into our crepe mix. So we'll start off with just half a ladle here. And I always say the first crepe is never the best crepe. It's either too thin or too thick. So you're always forgiven for not making the perfect crepe at the beginning. So on it goes and make sure you just twirl the pan, just like so, around the edges, pop it back on the heat. You'll see it set, and then all we have to do is just detach it from the sides and give it a good flip. After that, I'll make a few more and we can start plating up. is ready you can see it just slips off the pan with ease and all we have to do now is wrap them so there's a few ways of doing this of course you can just pile them up and put all those beautiful peaches on top or what I like to do is grab our crepe place it on a clean board like so we'll get 
the peaches and just add a few of them. Look at them, they're glistening in that toffee. It's just delicious. So about three slices of those peaches and you can just fold it over and make it into like a little pocket. We place that onto our plate like that and just because the peaches are so good and we need some more caramel, we'll add a few more of those peaches around the plate. Drizzle that beautiful caramel. Look at that. This is just so delicious. And of course, you can't have a dessert like this without just a touch of cream. So a little bit of double cream. What I've done here, this is a really good trick. I've just got some hot water with a tablespoon in and this will ensure we get the perfect dollop every time. Nice big dollop on top. Yes, a delicious dessert. Showcasing peaches, of course, depending on the season, you can use apples, pears, even pineapple works beautifully with these crepes.